Hey there folks, Rel here. This is going to be a super quick video about how directional damage works in Planetside 2, because I've seen a lot of comments in my vehicle videos that aren't wholly accurate, and it's, it's strange compared to a lot of games, so it makes sense that not everybody knows about this. In short, directional damage in Planetside 2 is based on the attacker's position from their target, not where the projectile actually lands. So in other words, imagine a 90 degree triangle emanating from the very center of the vehicle in every direction. Where you are standing in relation to those triangles is what area of the vehicle that you're going to damage. So if I'm standing behind a vehicle and I hit the side of a tank with a rocket, it's going to deal the same amount of damage as if I hit it directly in the rear end. Speaking of which, all tanks in Planetside 2 have directional armor, but flashes, harassers, sunderers, most likely the ant when it goes live, and all flying vehicles do not take directional damage. They all take the same damage from any side, except for the Valkyrie, which I believe has a bonus to small arms resistance from beneath. When it comes to tanks, they all take less damage from the front, average damage from the top and sides, and bonus damage from behind or underneath. So to minimize the damage that you're going to be taking from, let's say, a rocket, it's not necessary to actually have the rocket pop you in the front of the tank. You've just got to keep your target within that 90 degree frontal cone. On top of this, you've also got directional armor certification lines. For tanks, it's either front, side, or top, or mine guard for the bottom, but mine guard only protects from certain types of damage, namely mines and anti-vehicle grenades. Sunderers have barricade armor, which used to protect you even more from the back than it did from any other angle, but that's currently not the case anymore. Instead, it now protects you from the same amount of damage on all sides. What type of armor you use is going to depend a lot on your playstyle, so keep in mind how you tend to maneuver your tank when you're firing. The last thing that I want to go over is that there are certain things that ignore the player's position when it comes to directional armor, and instead use the direction of the projectile in relation to the vehicle. Anti-vehicle grenades are really, really the only big one, and then tank mines or another C4 are the last. But for anti-vehicle grenades, if you stick the back of the tank, it does damage as if you were hitting the back of the tank. It doesn't matter if you were actually standing above it or not. For anti-tank mines and C4, they do the same amount of damage regardless of what side they actually hit. So it doesn't matter if you drop C4 on the top of the tank, or in front of the tank, or behind the tank, or even next to the tank, it does the same amount of damage. Same goes for anti-tank mines. If this video has been interesting, helpful, or entertaining, please feel free to like, subscribe, tell your friends about the channel, and I hope that this clears up some misconceptions regarding how directional damage works in Planetside 2, and even better, I hope you can incorporate this knowledge into your normal play. Thanks very much, folks. We're all signing off. Mosquito in the area. Hey, I see a TR Prowler. I see a TR Prowler.